Welding. Welcome to the Welding, Cutting, and Brazing Safety Training Course. Welding, cutting, and brazing are hazardous activities that pose a unique combination of both safety and health risks to more than 500,000 workers in a wide variety of industries. Fatal injuries from welding, cutting, and brazing account for more than four deaths per thousand workers over a working lifetime. This course will inform you of potential health and safety concerns unique to welding, cutting, and brazing. After successfully completing this course, you will be able to specify fire prevention techniques used during welding, cutting, and brazing, specify the proper handling, transportation, use, and storage of compressed gas cylinders, and specify proper operating procedures to ensure a safe means of welding and cutting. The Occupational Safety and Health Administration, OSHA, lists standards for welding, cutting, and brazing under 29 CFR Part 1910, Subpart Q, Welding, Cutting, and Brazing. Many welding operations will use compressed gases, and therefore companies must comply with 29 CFR Part 1910, Subpart H, Hazardous Materials Requirements. Go to the next screen to learn the other related regulatory requirements. Other related regulatory requirements are shipyard employment, marine terminal, construction, and general industry. Click on each of the regulatory requirements to learn more. It is best to perform welding in a designated area when possible. Inspection of the welding area prior to the start of work should be conducted to help avoid possible fires. Make sure all oily rags and other flammable materials are properly stored and the area is well ventilated. If a fire hazard cannot be removed, guards should be installed. If the guards cannot be installed or the work removed to a safe area, the welding or cutting must not take place. Be sure to obtain a hot work permit before performing any welding jobs. This will help ensure that all hazards are controlled and that others are informed of the work being performed. Someone must also be posted as fire watch from the time welding begins to one half hour after the job is finished. This is done to guard against the possibility of a flame up during and after the work is complete. Fire extinguishers need to be present, charged, and ready. They come in different classes, so make sure you have the proper type for the appropriate hazards that you may face. Make sure that anyone who might have to use a fire extinguisher has been properly trained.